All right. We're here. We're finally here. The end of Mike Righteous's suicide cycle. With his last song on the album, Suicide. Low key, I saw that th that was the name of the last song for a while now. And I've kind of been looking at each song like, is that a step in that direction? Uh, I don't, I don't know, <laughs> man. I've been relating to too many of them, so I fucking hope not. Oh, by the way, cheers. As always. I mean, obviously, Mike Righteous is still here. I just mean in terms of, like, uh, how he's seen things. <sighs> All right. Let's get it going. We, we don't got nothing else to wait for. Streaming on Spotify. Lyrics put up on Genius as always. Like I've been doing with this whole album. Let's get into it. This one's for you, Mike Righteous. Or should I say Mike Reckless. Um, obviously, I don't know if you recognize that. Yeah, that's... Uh, suits me and um, if you're wondering why I've taken it, I took it from Farzad's house when I had to do his bathroom and uh, it's for all the boxes and socks that never got returned. Alright mate? Funny that. Cheers rocks. Boxes and socks. Suicide for my friends, come outside, hide from the ends. Oh yeah, I wasn't there, horrified, I was scared. Suicide for my friends, come outside, hide from the ends. Oh yeah, I wasn't there, horrified, I was scared. And now please, Time I see something you touch, I stop and stare And get this weird feeling of comfort just because you touched it And I might be fucked up, but man, it's something I wanna share Yeah, I'm still wearing your joggers, it got a tear And I remember swearing I never stole them, but I was joking You caught me lacking, I was in the crib, I had them on And you was pissed, you stole a couple of my hats as payback I see your dad wearing one the other day, I rate that And I swear I'll trade anything, I have to see your face Fam, a link for one second, even if it's just to shake hands I can't lie, I ain't really fucking with a guy I can't relate fam, I'm outgrowing our mates I'm outgrowing class A, they still doing class A's And I swear they can't change, not even for their dead mate And I just play Margate, slippery slope, icy pavements Shit and I can't slip, trying to save them Selfish guys, sometimes you gotta help yourself in life Maybe I could change them too, open up their minds and show them what the brain could do So they don't do the same as you, Charles I don't wanna wear this suit again, trust And bury another one of my stupid friends, trust I'm sick of the cycle, but ain't safe outside I'm sick of life, but I can't contemplate my Suicide for my friends Okay, we gonna talk about that We gonna talk about that As always I've known people that have felt and considered su suicide. For the ones that I've known closely and were able to express that to me, I always try to express how much that they really mean to people and 
but sometimes at the same time, I, I, I well, and, but sometimes at the same time, I, I just can't. I, one thing I've noticed from the one person that I've known that actually did uh, kill himself. I talked about it in another video. It was an old classmate of mine, and I. It was a whole thing about uh. She was there one of my ex's birthdays when it was just me, her, and my ex, and I wanted to thank her for being there for my ex and all that. You know, I, I talked about it before, but um, one thing I really noticed was like no one. No one that, like, hung out with her and stuff saw that shit coming. No one did. And that's the scary part of, like, you always got to think about. Cause that's why sometimes I'd be like, the people that you know something's wrong, in a way, I consider that a good thing. And it's weird to think of it that way, but it's true. Cause that mean, cause that means they're still in a state of trying to find help, of trying to feel better. When someone, when someone really decides to that, like that's what they're gonna do, they're not gonna even. They're like they're really not gonna reach out anymore most of the time. At least from what I've seen. Because everybody that re... That, and I'm not saying that everybody, other people haven't thought about it. But I'm just saying, like, while you're still in a place that you could express it. That you could talk about it. That you could, even if it doesn't get you anywhere, that you could, you're trying in a way to get help. For it to feel better by expressing it, that is still, it shows you haven't really given up. The people that have really given up, they're not going to do any of that. They're not. It's over. They're going to put on that smile, hang out those few last times, and... When they and then when they're done with their last hurrah or whatever, that's the, the, their minds already been made up. That's when they're gonna do it, and they're not gonna be trying to. I hope I'm sorry if you guys hear the freaking. Of course, somebody's outside fucking blowing leaves right now, but. Um, but yeah, that, 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 they're not going to be reaching out or talking about how they feel bad because they've already decided how they're going to handle that. So I don't think anybody wants their last moments, their last days to be ass assuming that it's thought out, of course. Um, but yeah, man, I, for, for anyone out there dealing with stuff, like for example, if you follow my channel, you you dealing with stuff. I hope you know you could you could talk in the comments. It, it it I'm gonna let anybody know everybody know if anybody is an asshole to somebody in the comments who like is trying to talk about their their life and things they go through. I I, I will just ban you from leaving comments on my channel. I'm not gonna be dealing with that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna have people on my on my channel making each other feel bad for feeling bad. Nah. I'm not cool with that. But uh so yeah now anybody out there that's really going through through anything, yo, you you can always speak out. Uh I I prom I, I promise you sir so, so, unfortunately people don't realize sometimes a lot of things until how much they somebody meant to them until they're gone. Unfortunately, that's the truth. That's the way it is. But I want everyone to know that if they disappear, they'll be there is someone out there that's going to be like, damn. 
It, there really is. There's someone that's gonna feel like they could they could have done more. There's someone that's gonna wish that they hadn't taken them for granted. And so all those people and to everyone else, like look after look after the people you know. Look after them. Cause you never know who it's gonna be. And when they're not here anymore, it, it's it's too late. So I'm guessing the thing about the guy still the the thing it started with was the guy who ended up killing himself. Uh, talking about uh. Uh, they took the hat. <sighs> Sick of this cycle. It ain't safe outside. I'm, I'm sick of life, but I can't contemplate my... I'm pretty sure it said mine, not my, whoever writes this shit. But, um... Yeah. yeah, life isn't about understanding. There, there is. I'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat everything and be like, "Oh, there's a reason for everybody's existence or anything." I'm not gonna be here and be like, and try to pretend that a basically if a the sun is having a bad day and farts off a solar flare in our direction, that basically all life on Earth is gone. The, the, like, I, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, yeah, we mean something in the grand scape of the universe. No, we probably don't. Eventually, we're going to go the same way as the dinosaurs. It's not about that. It's not about meaning something to the world. It's about meaning something to the people in our lives that matter. And we all got to make that. And, and realizing who we matter to. And just taking better care of each other. For real. Come outside, hide from the ends. Oh, yeah. There's a net. Horrified. I was scared. Suicide, my friends. Come outside, hide from the ends. Joshua Wood, rest in peace, and as long as I'm alive, you'll live through me. Yeah. So I was right. Yeah, the dude Mark that he was talking as in the beginning. At least I think he was talking as, unless that was a natural voice, man. It'd be crazy if it was. But um, yeah, that, that, that's who the whole album was dedicated to. And that's the guy that I uh, guess killed himself. And. Yes, and now it's his brother-in-law from the way everything, the whole album went. Yeah. It's funny. I'm thinking about all the songs right now. This whole album really just told a, a real fucking story.
All right. I'm just going to end it with to everyone out there. Take care of yourselves. Take care of the people around you. You never know when it could be the last day that you see somebody. Because something could happen on either one of your sides. Make the most of what you have. And... weird that I'm thinking about this quote now. I don't know what the hell made me think about it. But it's from a freaking Rocky movie. I think it's the one of the most recent ones. Yeah, I think it was the last like Rocky movie before they started doing the Creed stuff. It goes, uh, it's not a, about how hard, how hard you hit it's about how hard you could get hit and keep on going. That's how winning is done. And that's a quote, but seriously, that, that's how life is done. Life is gonna beat you down. Life is gonna life is gonna treat you like it's a bitch. But you got to keep getting back up and keep on going. I wish the best to everyone out there. As long as, as long as I, 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 if, if everyone would wish the best to other people, this world wouldn't have anywhere near as many problems as it does. For, for real. Cheers. I'm out of here.